we had a group, the, the group that we formed was called the Metro Union. It's kind of a funny name. Even before that though, there was, oh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. there was, I don't know what we were doing, but there was like me, him, we had two dancers, uh, this dude named Capital Savoir Fair, he was like, he yeah. some smooth shit, almost some like paramilitary <laughs> cultural throwing beads, you know. Then we got like two scuba scrap type dancers to the side, then we got the black militant, you're just like, yo. And I think that, um, uh, this is around the time, so I think from uh, recording, you know, at, at Ox House, then I think we, uh, went to filming in the cities. And uh, I remember we filmed, we, I think we recorded some songs, but the studio was so small that while one MC was in there, the other one had to wait in the hallway. Yeah. You know, and, and we did some shows too under that, under that name. Yeah. A couple. Um, first show was probably like at the Orpheum. You know, I remember that, it was like some kind of talent show. You know, and uh, then eventually that gentleman eventually left and went to school. And then that's kind of when we started to form the Metro Unit. After we kind of got an idea, right, right. things started to settle. And why Metro Unit? I mean, um, honestly, probably just because of graffiti. You know, Metro, Metropolitan, you know, most of the bus lines. You know, that was the, the you know, Metro Terminal, just things around uh, uh, transportation, you know, units, you know, because everybody was, you know, had to group, click, clan, you know, so what is it? So we're trying to figure out and be something different. Started to dissolve around um, late 91, mid to late 91, more toward the fall, you know, and uh, there's various reasons as to how and why that happened. You know, I got into some, some trouble, and inside of that trouble, about half of the metro unit was involved in it. And so, uh, and then there was some, some, some discrepancies, you know, some people wasn't necessarily holding the water properly. It started to leak. And so, um, based upon some of those um, street values and ethics, it became uh, no longer feasible to work with those people. And so, um, I, so I knew I was going to jail. And so the group kind of was at a standstill. And so, uh, between, elo not eloquent peasants, but between mixed breed and between um, Metro Unit, we were always hanging out with, with uh, with, with, with uh, Truth Mays, mostly because he was the only one in the mixed breed that was from Minneapolis, whereas the rest of them was from St. Paul. And so we'd already been thinking, like, man, we kick it, we chop it up. Like, this group is kind of dissolving, so, like, what do you want to do? And it's like, well, who's the most dedicated? It's like, you, because even with the Metro unit, he made all the beats. And I wrote all the rhymes, not only for myself, but for everybody in the group, for the most part. Like, we really wanted to make records, not just have fun, you know what I mean? At that point, when, um, we decided to bring in B Fresh or, um, you know, William Harris and form a trio. Um, actually, while he was while he was in jail, me and Billy did um, probably like four tracks, and maybe a couple other ones that did some performances, just myself and him. <coughs> um, like we opened up for KRS, Couple other shows. There's one show you did at the uh, Holiday Inn. Or we, did, we did. A, we did a show at the Holiday Inn, which was a school thought party. That's um, that's on video somewhere. It was packed too. Yeah, it was packed. School thought used to throw big, giant parties. You know, they would rent out a ballroom and it'd be you know full of people. Then they they would have a couple of people come in, do some songs or you know whatever. So. And I remember maybe two days before uh, we, you know, I went down. We were just trying to we were rest, throwing names out, you know. And I remember it was me and, and Billy. We were standing right across the street from uh, basically where Block E is now, but at the time it was just a parking lot. And I remember we were like, okay, you know, I always. Uh, heard of people of color always mentioned as minorities and I know that has to do with economic stability and commerce and industry, you know, but populist wise, you know, I was like, we need more than that. So we were, you know, kind of playing with their words and I remember um, 
one of the variations, like Mega Knots. You know, we just like, well, Mike, what do you think? And so we at least had come up with two or three words, and then uh, maybe two days later, I went to jail. And then from there, then the, the rest of the formation of what the Micronauts would be in terms of logo, idea, thought, concept was constructed between myself, Akeem, and, and Truth Mays via letters. And then it was just like, okay, we got it, all right, so now we're gonna start, and then when you get out, you can just come into something that's already established.